know about you, but that is freaking fantastic. Because this whole thing, I just, that's so funny. I just threw the pens down like I dropped the mic or something. Oh my God, that was so funny. <laughs> laughing at my little avatar ego self that just thinks she's just so cute and so funny throw that down anyway that verse just blew my mind and so thank you rick for um, planting the seed on that because i really think that we needed to see that in connecting to the scriptures and to meltha what are we filling up with we are filling up with the word the essence of that which is created in and all things that has always been no longer separated that that has the creative power that is never ending word made flesh oh so good can i can i add something right yeah now? please because i know you're almost done no i'm i'm done um, so can you write we've gone long today that, yeah um, it's 248. <laughs> yeah i just wanted to say this i'm gonna write this down can you erase that and put, yeah you had up there earlier on the bet with the olive in the belly can you put that yeah. back up there again it was the bigger yeah. bet because you're talking about the bet and i didn't want to and i know this is a lot of information. I'm over here and I'm going like, I have to remove myself a little bit because I don't, she's on her, this is her share of time and I don't want to interfere. Um, and I respect her passion. It's her passion. I don't want to step on that. I don't, I don't want to step on anyone's fire. Um, but when she drew this, it really spoke vol volumes to me. And I think um, uh, David, uh, yeah, David was touching on this. It says the bar, the seat of the word. And so I want to connect this. Uh, to to what this is because this is an impregnated this is an impregnated one this is one that's building something and they're impregnated with absolute this is god inside of you that is seeking to be developed and because the word is 2d it's actually think of making love right and, and hear the innocence in this expression because the 2d word pierces you to seed you so you may conceive well conception is is yes, it's in you, but conception is also going back to Rick, pondering and thinking. I'm conceiving something. I'm taking my thought process. The 2D word is a concept that's then moving into me by my ingestion. And in my ponderance, I think, I conceive, I meditate upon that. And in that, I birth it in the flesh. So the word now is manifest. This now is now outside of myself. And this goes back to, I think it was Lisa, um, the sharing, or who was sharing earlier on about, I'm guarding and I'm keeping myself from nonsense. Well, this being- oh, it was Jeannie. Jeannie? Yeah. Okay, so this connects to that because when this is birthed outside of yourself, this is like a child and, and Roy and Hope, you know, bless you in your, in your, in what's going on in your life, you know, in your, in your union. I just love it because they're, they're, they're sharing the journey of a child right now. And in this frequency of, of building this to birth this, when it becomes a manifestation, because that word right there, bet all of together, it means to bring, to come to pass, manifested evidence of something living. Wow. It means the movement of return. Bah. So in you is the ultimate return by building the absolute. When this comes out of you and you manifest this, this is like a child because you seeded it through the 2D word. This 3D reality is in you, and now you just birthed the 4D, 5D reality because you the word is not from this world. It's in this world as a 2D concept, but we have to ingest it to birth it, to beget it, to become 3D, to then produce the intention of 4D and 5D and beyond. But it's giving us, we have to first steward this. So if that is your child by you birthing it, you guard this. This is protection. The mother who is in the, the in, in the process of being pregnant, she knows her surroundings. She doesn't put up with nonsense. She removes herself from maybe what she did partake of one time, but she no longer does because she knows that there's baby on board. There's an impregnation of a potential of absolute within her. And so therefore she removes herself for the sanctum of, of, of sacred once more. This is that. This is everything of guarding and stewarding and removing yourself from the nonsense of the world for the absolute potential of God birthed in the earth once again. Amen. Absolutely. 
It's a very powerful word right there. And so this ties in conception, seeding. And, and so this is the piercing of the word. This is, and remember, this is the phallus in the womb of impregnation is in each and every one of us. We get to do it as a couple, but the expression is individual to the sovereign standing nation. Kum. Standing. Where are you in this standing of absolute by the ingestion of the word? that you may conceive this in the ponderance and the thinking to make it absolute truth in the reality of a 5D and a 3D. Who can do that? Who is capable of that level of conception to bring this into the earth, to call it a return once again? Us, we. Us, we. Ata, you. Ata. You. So anyways, I just when I saw that, I just didn't want to miss the opportunity because it's so... The impregnated bet is absolutely the expression of bringing into the manifested presence of what it is as God in the earth fully assembled, as the flesh, as the word. It no longer needs to be 2D because it produced the intention. That's right. Well done. You are now called 5D in a 3D reality. Whew, that's lofty. That's an admiral of the sea. That's a vibration. And all of that is connected to the bed. <laughs> you are pumped up. You have made, you filled the you hollow. Filled the, hollows. the word has pierced you. So there's, there's the hollow. There's the filling up. There's the plumpness. That's a very fat bet. And when I mean fat in Hebrew, it means shaman. It means in you is much oil. Lots of oil. You have filled your vessel oh. and you're now plump and you're seen as the shaman, the shiny ones in the earth. Well done. Ba. This is the oil in the lamp. So well done for your evidence thus far, producing and solving your own case of who you are as God some assembly required the law of return begets the law of, of, of self-induction, self-introducing, the self-expression of meeting yourself. Every day you're given an opportunity to see a greater expression of yourself if you choose to see your reflection correctly. That's the great meeting. That's the tent. You. Intimately knowing you. Enter yourself impregnate yourself birth yourself immaculate conception immaculate conception that's right that's what it is so good Haliva. and by the way guys i decided that i am not going to say i'm sorry for my enthusiasm she has no need to i speak from the passion of my heart and i am not going to excuse myself and say that there's anything wrong with it because i love you so much that i'm going to give it all to you i'm going to give it all to you and if it comes out as being passionate so be it because i'm a passionate person i am a passionate aspect of the one infinite creator and that's what you get to see is the passion of the one infinite infinite creator i am i love how she unwraps the gift <laughs> One little piece at a time, in a little bow, in a little card, yeah. in the wrapping paper, and it's, folding it all it's, nicely. It's taught me much patience, <laughs> but again, that's what I obviously need. <laughs> I love it. But but in the expression, I, I love another's expression. I love it. it, it again, um, when, when Carrie and I first met, our because we, we were in the church at that time, and our pastor looked at us, and she was a, a, a our counselor as well, and she just says, whoo, boy. You two are, when you, you're together, you, your pendulum swing, they just touch. When you're a Bev on your A game, you guys are just touching. you just barely but crossing. When you guys are off, there. you guys are off, man. But it says the power in this is you know each other. And when you're on, woof, you guys go from sphere to sphere, and you will reach many people based on your temperaments. The melancholy side of Ken and the joyous side of Carrie, you, you touch all rounds. And so for that, long-suffering, absolutely. Worth it? Absolutely. absolutely. But we are an expression of absolute by building ourselves. We built one another, and in that expression, we represent as absolute. May that be your song. I love you. <laughs> and, and like tuning forks, we all vibrate along with you. It's good to build one. Make, make room for another expression. It's taught me much. Again, it's taught me much. And I'm thankful for another person's expression, regardless of what I think it is. It's taught me just to see it as lovely, true, and beautiful. And it's really calmed my own heart to say, interesting, another reflection of absolute beauty. Yeah, how can I change that? Why would I change that? It's not fair. And so right. 
done. Well done thus far, everyone, on your expression of beautiful and lovely. Thank you.